From the 1970s until the mid-2010s, textbook prices increased at three times the rate of inflation. Multiple factors led to the climbing prices, including lack of competition in the market, gimmicks like new additions with very little changes, and the captured market of students themselves. These rising prices were borne by students who generally have no say in the decision-making process when it comes to textbooks, but are expected to pay for them. College students in the U.S. annually spend more than $3 billion of their taxpayer-funded financial aid on course materials. Governor Gavin Newsom captured this broken model well when he said, the textbook industry is abusive to common sense and mindset in terms of the usury nature of the costs associated that make no sense whatsoever except to those that are the beneficiaries of huge rewards on the backs of our children. In a world brimming with knowledge and ideas, a cartel of just three companies, Pearson, Cengage, and McGraw-Hill, control roughly 80% of the college textbook market. According to published industry analysts, prices have recently started to level off thanks in part to the downward pressure from the Open Educational Resources Movement. Open Educational Resources, or OER, are teaching, learning, and research resources that reside in the public domain or have been released under an intellectual property license that permits their free use and repurposing by others. More than a decade ago, I learned of a group of bright and deserving students at Santa Ana Community College that had performed quite well through their first year but who were not returning for their second year as they simply could not afford the textbooks required for the courses. How could it be that our public institutions would force a student to allow their futures to be traded for a mandated slate of $200 textbooks? While we provided immediate relief to those students, it was obvious that this was a pervasive problem that could not be solved at scale by merely writing checks. What was called for was a far larger and more enduring solution. I decided that I would go into the textbook publishing business, produce the highest possible quality textbooks, but then instead of selling them, give them away for free. In 2010, through my 20 Million Minds Foundation, I became one of the founding funders of OpenStax, which is today the world's leading OER textbook provider. We have already directly saved students more than $1 billion. At this moment, more than 4 million students in 120 countries are making use of our open license, freely downloadable, best-in-class textbooks. And more than 60% of all U.S. colleges and universities are currently using textbooks from our catalog. Following the grant to OpenStax, the Michelson 20 Million Minds Foundation deepened its work in the field of OER. The foundation funded a report from the U.S. Public Interest Research Group analyzing the textbook industry's new automatic billing framework. The report found that this new model often fails to disclose pricing structures, annual price increases, and other concerning contract clauses. After the report's release, California and Texas introduced legislation with the aim of creating consumer protections for students in institutions where these deals are signed. The California bill was co-sponsored by the Michelson Center for Public Policy. While not yet signed into law, these policies show growing support for common sense protections for students. Outside of legislation, student leaders have used the findings of the PERG report to spark local action. At both University of North Carolina Chapel Hill and University of Central Florida, student leaders launched successful campaigns for opt-in structures. Last year at the University of Central Florida, I helped lead a student effort to stop a proposed opt-out automatic textbook billing proposal. Using the findings from the U.S. PERG report, we were able to mobilize our community and convince administration to keep our more flexible original deal where students need to opt in before they're charged for their textbooks. The Michelson Center for Public Policy was also instrumental in convening a coalition of organizations that pushed lawmakers to fund the Zero Textbook Cost, or ZTC, degree program in the California Community College System. In 2016, California invested in Zero Textbook Cost programs. 23,000 students benefited with increased success and big savings, while the state saw an 800% return on its investment. And now, California is investing $115 million in ZTCs, which is at 23 times larger than the original investment, meaning we'll see a really transformative impact on the country's largest system of higher education. California's historic $115 million investment in the ZTC program marks a critical inflection point for the OER movement. 
Beyond the celebrating, it is now a time for great vigilance. It is vital that we protect and shepherd that investment towards the creation of a truly open learning content ecosystem to provide for the best learning materials at the best price and to thereby make higher education more affordable, accessible, and equitable. Please learn how you can join us by going to 20mm.org slash OER. Thank you.